Hi, I'm Amy Hume, voice and dialect coach, and this is how to warm up on the train. You've got an audition and the only way of getting there is on the train. So here's how to warm up on the way. So when you get on the train, your instinct might be to make yourself really small and just if you're going to do any warm ups to hide away in the corner. Remember with all these exercises, it's really important to stay in alignment, relaxed and open. First things first, if there's a seat available, get it at the back of the carriage so that people aren't facing you. Turn your attention to your breath. If you're feeling a little nervous, focus on people and objects around you to expand your awareness. Have a big yawn. It's an everyday thing. No one will know it's a voice exercise. Yawning is great because it stretches the soft palate and opens the throat. When you yawn, think of yawning horizontally so you get the stretch in the soft palate rather than just opening your jaw. Now let's try making a little bit of sound. First, try a gentle hum. Chances are no one will notice. Hum really gently and easily up and down through your range. If humming's going okay, try sirening on an NG, like the sound that you hear at the end of the word sing. Next, you're going to mouth your text. This is great for your articulators, but also if you place a couple of fingers on your larynx, you'll feel it moving up and down as you mouth your text. Think about over articulating so you really get those facial muscles warmed up. This is one you might not do if you feel like people will notice, but really no one's paying attention to you. They're all too busy looking at their phones. Now, fake a phone call. Pretend you're on the phone, but actually speak your text. It might be a little obvious if your text is Shakespeare, but with contemporary text, you'd be surprised how easy it is. Just remember to have your phone on silent or aeroplane mode because you don't want it to ring and blow your cover. Now you're going to do an exercise called straw phonation. You can grab a straw from the local cafe on your way to the train and then take the straw and place it on your lips and you're going to make an oo sound and glide through that oo sound up and down through the range, making sure you're sending the energy down through the straw. If you've got just the straw, place a hand on the end of it so you see if you can feel the breath coming out. If you've got a water bottle, great, it's just like blowing bubbles. In fact, some actors have opaque water bottles just for this reason, so that they can blow bubbles to their heart's content without anybody noticing. So there you have it. Now next time you catch a train to an audition, you can make good use of your commute. Let us know how you go.